Hello everyone, Amelia here with another Q&A at MOA. Today we are stopping at Mona Williams on Level 2 South in Mall of America to meet owner and laundry enthusiast Patrick Richardson and learn some tips and tricks from him. Let's head on in. Hi Patrick, thanks for having us here today. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for coming. So tell me a little bit about your store. How long has it been around? How do you describe it? So it's the store is Mona Williams. Mm -hmm. um, we've been in the mall about five years and we were about four years before that. So we've been around about nine years and what it is, is it's a collection basically of everything I love. It started out as designer vintage and we're famous for that. We still have a little, mm -hmm. but what's really happened is we've sort of morphed into laundry for which we're famous and green cleaning. So we've added a lot of green cleaning options and you know more laundry options than probably you even knew were imaginable. Yeah, I hear that you are the laundry expert. So much so that you even wrote a book about it. Can you tell me a bit about your book? I did. So the book came out it's, it, this spring. It's called Laundry Love. And what it is, is it is tales about all the women in my life through my childhood up to now and what I learned about laundry. So it's part memoir, part how-to. Mm -hmm. So you can find out a little bit about my granny but you can also find out how to clean your kids' baseball pants. So it's a little bit of what you need to know and some things to keep it entertaining. So it's, you know, it's been out a couple months and... And where can people find your book? Well, you can obviously buy it at the store mm -hmm. here at Mona Williams. Um, truth be told, since we're in the mall, I should also tell you, you can buy it at Barnes & Noble. Great. Well, let's learn some of your laundry secrets. Let's head over and check out some of your favorite equipments and tools. Perfect. All right, Patrick, let's see some of the specialty items you carry in your store. Okay, well, we have to start with our signature product, which is our soap flakes. Um, it's our number one selling item. They're formulated for the store. This is like the only laundry product. Well, I'm not gonna say it's the only laundry product you ever need. It's the only soap or detergent that you ever need. Um, it's formulated just for us. It's actually made in Minnesota, which is kind of fun, but they're made just for the store and if you were only gonna buy one thing in the store, which you should buy a lot, but if you're only gonna buy one, it should absolutely be soap flakes. So how do you use soap flakes? I've never used them before. So you'd use them like you use your, you know, your detergent or whatever, except what's unique is they're, they're dry and you throw them directly on top of the clothes. So they dissolve completely in water. And the reason that I love them so much is they leave no residue. So they're safe for everything that you've already been washing but they're also safe for all the things that you didn't think you could wash that you thought had to go to the dry cleaner. So your cashmere sweaters, your wool suits, your silk dress, it can all go in the washer as long as you use soap. Love it. All yeah. right, so we've learned about soap. Are there any tools that you like to use? Um, yeah. So my favorite tool also for the store because, I mean, I came up with the best tools to get the job done, right? Mm -hmm. But it's a horsehair brush and we offer these a number of different ways. This is the classic one. Um, what's great about horsehair is, first of all, it's environmentally friendly. The horse doesn't get hurt to make the brush, but you can scrub any stain and it won't damage the fabric. A lot of people have this kind of, oh, I use an old toothbrush or whatever. And on a really delicate fabric, you can actually cause a mark and a horsehair brush won't do it. So. This would probably be the second thing I'd tell you to buy if you okay. were in the store. Soap and a horsehair horse brush. Yeah. Uh, what do you think is a common mistake people are doing when they do their laundry? Um, there's a couple. I mean, the biggest one is people use too much soap or detergent because like with the soap flakes, for a really full load, you use one tablespoon. And to tell you how little that is, if you cup your hand, one tablespoon is what will fit right in the middle of your palm. So. A lot of people use way too much soap or detergent, and they use too long of a cycle. Really, a 30-minute cycle, which is express on most washers, is more than long enough to wash every single thing you own. Wow. Yeah. You have so much laundry knowledge. Do you offer classes or anything for people to learn from you? We normally offer laundry camp. Um, we're hoping to offer it again soon. Right now, you know, we don't. Um, we're hoping to very, very soon. and you know, shameless plug, you can go to laundrycamp.com and sign up and we'll let you know as soon as we're doing them again. Great, so you've got classes hopefully upcoming soon and then I hear you also have a TV show coming up. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, I do. I actually have a show on Discovery Plus 
called The Laundry Guy, you know, as you would. And the fun thing about The Laundry Guy is it's not, it's, it's about laundry, of course, you know, because it's in the title, but it's really fun because it's about like really cherished objects that people think are completely ruined. In a number of cases, they've taken them to a laundry or a dry cleaner or something and been told, yeah, there's nothing we can do. And on the show, we actually bring them back. So it's really fun, you know, grab some Kleenex, actually grab a handkerchief because then you, don't, you can rewash it. <laughs> but they're, um, it's, it's really super and it streams on Discovery Plus right now. Well, fascinating. Thanks so much for chatting with us. Your store is amazing. We're so excited to check out your book and your show and I gotta get a horsehair brush. You have to have a horsehair brush and some soap. Oh, sounds good, Patrick. Thanks for watching Q&A at MOA. Check out Mona Williams on Level 2 South at Mall of America. And let us know if you've got any upcoming cues for us today.